What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I'm going to go through some really useful things for OBS Studio. So I'm assuming you've got a fan going in the background or something noisy that you'd like to get out of your stream, usually something like Discord and the rest, turn off your microphone below a certain volume so you'll only hear background noise when you're speaking, meaning that it's not too invasive and annoying. However, something like OBS streams open mic unless you specifically set it to push to talk or something similar. That of course isn't the best. Leaving it as open mic usually is the best option as you don't have to worry, you simply just speak to your stream straight away. Of course, if you had some background noise, you'd always see some sort of movement on the audio mixer down here and your stream would obviously hear a PC fan, an air conditioner or something different while you're not speaking which can be incredibly annoying. Assuming that you've got your audio set up properly inside of OBS, you'll see something like this. How exactly do we place a gate on our microphone so that background noise is completely muted below a certain volume? Well, first of all, have a look at this window down here, the audio mixer. Just to make it a bit more obvious, I'll make it as big as possible so that we can see the numbers on this over here. Basically, these are the decibels. It works from negative 60 being the quietest that OBS can represent, all the way up to zero being the loudest possible sound that your PC can create. All we have to do is look for where the volume of the background noise is without saying anything. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the background noise gate on my physical microphone. By doing this, you can see that it lands up around negative 50 or negative 45 decibels. That's the noise floor of my microphone and environment. So if we'd like to completely mute it when it drops below say 45 decibels, all that we have to do is add a filter to it. I'll simply click the settings icon on this audio mixer dialog next to the device we want to place a gate on. Then I'll go ahead and click filters. Then I'll hit the plus to add another filter and I'll simply choose the noise gate option. Name it whatever you want and we'll have a look at this over here. So currently it's active and things are working well. The close threshold is the minimum volume that it has to get to for it to completely shut off. As soon as the volume meter goes above the open threshold, you'll be able to speak to your stream and everything else perfectly fine. For this, I'll go ahead and disable my noise gate and I'll set the close threshold to the bottom side of my microphone, which was say negative 45. I don't speak any quieter than that. So negative 45 decibels, it will go ahead and turn off completely. Then as soon as I make a noise that's say above negative 40 decibels, the microphone will turn back on. Having it set like this, we can go ahead and test it. I'll go ahead and disable my microphone's noise gate and you'll see exactly what happens. There's absolutely nothing until I tapped on my table and the volume reached above negative 40 decibels. Anything quieter than negative 45, it completely turned off until something reached negative 40. So it worked exactly as we expected. Then we have attack time, hold time, and release time. What exactly do these options mean? Attack time is how long the microphone will be off as soon as the volume crosses above the open threshold. So things will have to be louder than that open threshold for 25 milliseconds for the microphone to turn on. For normal speech and other things, this is usually unnoticeable and the shorter this is, the better. But of course, if it's too short, small unnoticeable noises like popping or crackling can come through and get the microphone to open up without you wanting it to actually happen. Then we have hold time and release time. Hold time is how long the microphone will be on when the volume drops below the closing threshold. So for 200 milliseconds, when it's quieter than the closing threshold, the microphone will be on. Then the release time is how long the microphone takes to fade out completely when the hold time runs out. So after 200 milliseconds, it'll take another 150 milliseconds for the microphone to fade out completely and then turn off. It's pretty simple. Then of course, if you'd like, you can also add some more filters, adding something like the noise suppression over here. We can choose a method and it'll automatically try and remove background noise with one of our options over here. If we choose speaks over here, it has a lower CPU usage, but of course it may not sound that good. Suppression level is how many decibels we wanna turn the noise down by. RA noise is higher quality. Of course, you can use RTX voice directly on your microphone input, but as far as I know, there is a way of getting it to work in OBS. So everywhere else, you don't have that RTX voice noise removal, but you can use it specifically and only in OBS if you wanted. If I find a way how to do that, which I think I do know one, I'll make sure to link it in the description down below when I create a video on it. But that aside, that's really all that you need to know. There are a couple of other audio options over here that I can go ahead and cover in another video if you'd like. 
Make sure to leave a comment down below if you'd like to see one of those in a future video. Other than that, that's basically how to get rid of noise on your microphone in OBS Studio, set up a simple gate and noise suppression if you wanted. Hopefully you found something useful in this video. My name has been Technobay here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.